my students welcome back coming to the next topic that is a static imports in java programming language so how to use this static imports if you use the static imports you no need to write uh, the class names here so let's let me explain this feature allows to avoid the class names with static members avoid the class names with static members that means see the syntax import static write the package name dot whatever the sub package name dot class name dot star okay import static package name sub package name class name that's it so see here example import static package name is a java sub package is a lang and class name is the integer and dot star so this is a wrapper class so in this class integer whatever the methods that are present all those methods i can access means the static methods only it allows to access all static members of integer class without a class name without using the class name you can access so how let's see this program see i had starting i had written the statement import static java dot lang dot integer dot star package name sub package name class name dot star so whatever the class uh, under this class name whatever the methods are there that i can access so if you want to check whatever the methods you just go with the command prompt java p so there you have typed java dot lang dot integer so, okay enter so then you can see so many methods and constructors all you can access okay that are related to the static okay so import static java dot lang dot system a system is a class name so this method it will if you if you include this no need to write the integer dot integer dot means you no need to mention the class name if you use this statement you no need to write the system dot okay you are generally used to write for printing the statement system dot out dot print ln right so you are no need to mention system dot because you are already imported you already imported see here in the program class sample main method call the same program whatever i had explained in the wrappers class i had taken that example only int a is equal to 30 here i am not writing system dot i had writing only out dot print ln because i already imported here i already imported here java dot lang dot system dot star so already imported so i am not writing system dot i am simply writing out dot print ln here i am not writing integer dot integer dot to binary i am not writing why because why because because it is already imported here so this here it's already imported here integer dot no need to mention the class name directly you can call the method because you are already imported the class integer so you can directly call the method so here also out dot print ln two octal string out dot print ln two hexa string so whatever the 30 is there so that 30 is converted into binary whatever the 30 is there that will be converted into octal whatever the 30 is there that will be converted into hexa you no need to mention integer dot suppose if you didn't written this statement then you have to write integer dot here integer dot to hexa if you imported this no need to write integer dot no need to mention the class names okay so this is the use of the static imports static imports okay so let me take another example to explain this static import so this feature introduced in the jdk 1.5 version in 2004 okay so java p java dot lang dot integer so there i have taken one method that is a parse int string so whatever the string that i am passing in the main method that string i am converting into parse int so the method is it throw if if it is not valid then it throws the number format exception number format exception so this method is used to parse the integer from a given string parse integer it is just parsing the integer from a given string whatever the given string is there in that it is parse the integer that means suppose 10 is a string it parse the integer 10 that is string to this is string to integer format integer format integer 
format. That's it. That is the use of the parse int. See here. Class sample public static void main. So int x is equal to integer dot. Here I didn't import the static. If you import the static java dot lang dot integer then you no need to mention the class name. But here I didn't import. So that's why I am writing integer. It's a wrapper class. Under that parse int is a method. So this parse int is used to convert uh, parse the integers from a given string. Whatever the strings I am passing that converted to parse integer. Parse int argument 0. Int wise integer dot parse int argument 1. And system dot out dot print ln. Okay. So here what will be the output? You have to pass this uh, uh, number arguments at the command line prompt. Okay. So in the output command prompt. Java C sample dot Java compile the program next Java sample now try to give the arguments in the command prompt suppose I have given 10 space 20 the output is 30 previously when I am executed this program if I didn't mention the parse int so these two will be concatenated that is the strings they are but now the string I am converting into integer integer format i'm passing the string into integer format so this string is passing into the integer format 10 and this string is passing to the integer format 20 and now these two are integers 10 and 20 are integers so now try to add the 30 will be the output 30 will be the output suppose suppose if i given like in the at uh, while running the program java sample if i given taj space mahal then output will be the error. What type of error? Number format exception. Number format exception. So because the public stat in parse integer that is a string that I am passing that will be converted into parse int. It throws the number format exception. Because, because string cannot convert into number string whatever it is there it is cannot convert into number it's a string this completely Taj Mahal is a stay it's a uh, string alphabets that cannot be converted into number by using the parse int so this parse int is used to parse the integers from a given string it's you simply parse the integers from a given string okay so this is about the static import. Still if you are facing any doubt in executing this program you can watch my next video. So there I had executed this program in Eclipse IDE. Okay. So thank you.